BioV is an innovative biotechnology company that is developing treatments for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and long COVID. And I'm joined today by BioV's president and CEO, Kong Do. Um, welcome back. Great to have you back here. Thank you. Um, Great to be back. So I understand you're making progress on the Parkinson's trial. So bring us up to date on where that is. Yes, it's been a great month for us on Parkinson's. Thanks to the help of the Michael J. Fox Foundation, the Parkinson's Foundation, the Davis Finney Foundation, all of them getting their word out to their community. We've had a lot of Parkinson's patients come forth wanting to enroll in our trial. Right, So we now have a large bolus of patients that we need to work through, get into our trial. And if enrollment picks stays the way it is, we expect this trial to be fully enrolled by the end of this year which means that we will be in a position to have top-line data readout by April or May of next year. Okay, right? amazing. And, and what are you, what's your big goal here, your big accomplishment with this trial, and uh, what really is your mission? Yeah. Well, we're really trying to make Bezzi's theorem the first new therapy for Parkinson's patients in over five decades. We had conducted a prior study in moderate to severe Parkinson's patients where we gave Bezzi's theorem alongside the standard of care, which is a drug called levodopa. And what we found is that those patients, given the combination, had greater muscle control than those just on levodopa alone. So that gave us the proof of concept that it could be used in combination with levodopa to help moderate to severe Parkinson's patients. Now, the trial that we're conducting now, we're trying to show that we can use Bezisterm alone to help newly diagnosed Parkinson's patients help slow the progression of the disease, right? So slow progression, modify the progression of the disease while helping those that are already on medication. So when taken together and when fully developed, we believe the Bezisterm could become the first new therapy in over 50 years for Parkinson's. Okay. Um, and long COVID is, is another uh, illness I guess you are working on. Where are you with that? Well, as you know, 17 million Americans have long COVID Right, and suffer from the debilitating brain fog, malaise, and fatigue that goes along with that. And in fact, 3 million has it so badly that they've had to quit or change their job simply because they cannot put up with the physical demands of the condition, right? And we believe that Bessie-Sturm could help these patients, right? And we're grateful that we've been supported by a large number of academic centers out there, right? So the Mayo Clinic just came, came on board. We expect Mount Sinai, Yale, UCSF, and Mount uh, Northwestern to be fully on board by the end of this um, by the end of this month, right? So we're hoping that Bezisterm could really help these patients address these terrible conditions. Yeah. So it's the same drug that you're testing for both Parkinson's and long COVID. Is is there a connection between those two? Yes. Great question. If the connection, it sounds very unrelated, right? But the connection really has to do with inflammation, as it's mediated through something called tumor necrosis factor alpha or TNF-alpha. TNF-alpha leads to insulin resistance, and you need insulin resistance alongside low dopamine levels in the brain to create Parkinson's symptoms. Right, so by blocking TNF-alpha, we're reversing the insulin resistance, and that's how we're helping Parkinson's patients. Now, in long COVID, long after the infection has been warded off, it's believed that the spike protein and the envelope protein continue to circulate around in your blood and it gets into the CNS or it gets into your brain. And that causes inflammation as well. It drives the production of TNF-alpha. And since Bezisterm blocks the production of TNF-alpha, that's how it could be used in both of these indications. Interesting. And the long COVID trials will be starting or have started or where does that stand? The long COVID trials are underway actually with these site, major sites coming up very quickly, we believe we can rapidly roll. In about a month, we'll be able to have a better sense of when this trial will be fully enrolled, but we very much anticipate having top-line data readout middle of next year. Mm -hmm. And especially with COVID still prevalent. I, I, tell you, I told you last time you were my mom and just had COVID recently. Yes, absolutely. So, um, how can a potential patient find out more about these trials and what it takes to enroll in them? Well, all the information about the trials can be found at our website. So please go to biovpharma.com and there under section clinical trials, that's where you can find all the details. You'll see where the sites are and so on. Okay, interesting. And I look forward to hearing some top line data next year. Absolutely. Thank Looking you. Forward. Thank you, Tim. Uh -huh.